Hello everyone, I'm Karius, and today we're going to be talking about the Max Launcher. Um, kind of an interesting story behind this one, because now, now that I'm finally doing a video on it, you can't buy them anymore. Looks like the company that makes these just kind of gave up on making them. They weren't making enough money or something, so they have completely switched over um, to making uh, clay pigeon launchers for skeet shooting. So there's a oddly similar looking gray, more tactical version of this with a completely different um, shape here and it launches clay pigeons instead of tennis balls. And um, unfortunately it's $80 and the shape of it looks like it's not gonna work for the purposes that I use these for. So that's unfortunate. So anyway, what is the Max Launcher? Well, it's a tennis ball launcher. Um, similar to the Nerf Dog Launcher or the Chuck It little arm swinger thrower things or um, the, the Canine Cannon Tennis Ball Launcher, except much stronger. It's a catapult that you load by pulling the arm back. And um, you can see I've got a piece of pool noodle foam added in here to pad it a little better because I had one of them self-destruct on me already. Um, after a lot of use. And you just put a tennis ball in there and you're ready to go. And this thing shoots tennis balls really hard. Like, I wouldn't shoot them at people. I would say this is probably the only tennis ball launcher I've seen that will launch a tennis ball harder than you can just throw a tennis ball. Like, with a, like with the Nerf Dog launchers, it's really clear that you can just toss a tennis ball harder than you can throw it with one of these. Um, and it's kind of like, it almost feels like the effort in priming this thing and loading it is, is more than just throwing the ball. Whereas this is a catapult powered by a really crazy extension spring um, that with this tensioner on the back and it will launch anything you put in that cup really violently. So, obviously I don't want to be launching tennis balls at people at an air for. So what do I use this for? Well, I shoot darts out of it. After a lot of experimentation, I ended up with something really simple, which is just taking a ponytail tie and taking 19 darts, which is roughly the size of a tennis ball, it makes this nice hexagon pattern, and band them toward the front of the darts, so it's a little unstable. Load it in backwards. And you have a Nerf blunderbuss that shoots 19 darts at a spread and velocity that you would not see from any other kind of Nerf shotgun. It is the most powerful Nerf shotgun that I think exists outside of um, just sticking a bunch of barrels on a Titan or um, other like large air-powered blaster. And with this, you don't have to pump it up. You just chunk and you're ready. So something I found early on when I was experimenting with actually the Nerf Dog launcher and other tennis ball launchers before I found this thing was that the tennis ball is about roughly the same size and weight. The tennis ball is a little heavier, but um, it's about the same size as a bundle of 19 darts. And... Not only this thing, but anything that shoots tennis balls at a reasonable velocity will shoot this bundle of darts. You can load it into the Nerf Dog launcher. And just kind of stick it into the cup and it sticks just a little bit. See, so it won't fall out. Load it up and it's ready to shoot. And this will send all the darts like... 30 feet out in front of you. It's a it's a decent little shotgun, but sometimes the velocity isn't quite enough to have the bundle split apart, so you end up just throwing this weird wad of darts at somebody. But it works. It's this is this is where all my experimenting started. It was with a Nerf dog launcher and a bunch of different designs of Nerf grenades that ended up getting simpler and simpler until just oh, I can take a ponytail tie and bend a bunch of darts together. And if your launcher is strong enough, especially if you band it toward the front of the darts and load the darts in backwards so that 
just the force of the air kind of starts spreading them apart. Um, and the darts weight distribution um, kind of makes it so that they want to turn around forwards and that spinning and just the force of everything causes them to split apart and create a really good spread. So like I said, anything that fires tennis balls like this will launch them and I can even launch these bundles out of a chuck it stick, like one of these simple things that are meant for launching tennis balls. You can just straight up shove it in the end there and swing this and darts go everywhere. It's not as effective, but it does work and it's pretty funny. So in addition to regular darts, um, something else you can do with this kind of setup is mega darts. You can take seven mega darts and you get the same kind of size profile. And it's hilarious because you pull the trigger and suddenly you have seven whistling darts flying every which way and the sound is, is hilarious. So the, these are fun just to, it's, it's like pseudo fireworks in Nerf form. Because you can just launch these into the air and you just have these whistling darts screaming everywhere. Um, which is a lot of fun. So I attempted to order a couple more Max Launchers um, recently and discovered that the company is just gone. Um, I managed to get what I believe is the last one that they had because I ordered two Max Launchers, right? And then several months later, I get a box that has one Max Launcher in it and a bunch of spare parts for like... They had replaced the catapult arm with a different design they had clearly been iterating on. And they, in the box, they had also included the old arm that they took out and a couple other parts and some foam padding, like extras, as if they're like, well, he's, he ordered two of these, but we only got one left and we're kind of messing with it. Let's just send him this box and hope he doesn't ask for a refund for the second one, which I thought was bizarre, but... And now, um, now their website doesn't even exist. It's one of those, like, um, this host expired broken domain websites when you try to go to maxlauncher.com. So they've clearly abandoned this project. And if these break on me, I'm just stuck having to make my own parts, which I don't know. Um, let me grab the one that broke and show you. So here is the Max Launcher opened up and kind of explodified. All these beefy screws and springs that came with it has actual bearings for the the seat of the um, catapult arm, and you can see mine. The head of the catapult broke right off eventually. Like the force of it whacking up against this part was just too much, and the last shot this thing ever fired. The cup came with the, the ammo and just shot out, and that was that was all she wrote. And this is some weird kind of like almost fiberglass composite looking plastic that's pretty beefy. And um, it clearly broke at like the weakest part, which is right where the catch is, and um, right where they had kind of torn out some material anyway just to make the catch surface work. Like something I've noticed with the internals of these things is that it wasn't a hundred percent fleshed out like final design. There are slight differences between all of the max launchers that I've got. And, um, you can see that there's this weird carved area where they were messing with the catch. Like this is what this looked like before it broke. It's got like this dremeled surface and it eventually snapped right there. And I'm thinking the only way I'd be able to fix this, um, I don't think any epoxy or glue or anything is going to hold this well enough that it won't just break again. And um, I think the same with any reinforcement I do. I'm not sure I would be able to get this to hold. So I'm kind of stuck to just making my own part. Maybe 3D printing something, but that would just be fragile and break as well. Um, I'm thinking more welding something together, having like an aluminum arm here instead but um that's a huge other project that i'd rather not resort to because i do have the two other blasters that are working 
And um, so here's the trigger. It kind of goes to this weird ratcheting system that holds it at each step as you're pulling it back so it doesn't jump forward on you. And it's got this insane spring. This is like, you can't, you can kind of bend it back and forth, but you cannot stretch it. <laughs> Even though that's, that's the mechanism that is, um, that fires this thing is you pull this back, it's attached to the spring down here and extends this and you have this tensioner knob that extends it even farther so that it's under higher tension and fires harder. Um, which this was at max tension when it broke and I had been using this blaster for a couple of years shooting bundles of darts. So it held up for a long time, but I, I want to find some way to fix this one but it's clearly going to be difficult to make something sturdy enough. But yeah, that's what's inside of this thing. It's a pretty simple, like, cantilever catapult with a huge spring and some bearings to make it all smooth. And yeah, and this padding just wasn't enough to keep the, uh, the cup from breaking right off eventually. But yeah, here's the, here's the inside of it. It's pretty cool. Kind of a shame that this one is self-destructed, but I'm glad I had uh, another one. So the only other um, kind of launcher I've found that really even compares to uh, the Max launcher would be a tennis ball slingshot. Like, they have these large... I mean, they're, they're, it's the same market. It's the people that want to throw tennis balls for their dogs, but don't want to throw them and the slingshot's even weirder for that for me because it's still a pretty difficult exercise to pull back a slingshot that's strong enough to shoot a tennis ball like it's almost harder than it is throwing the tennis ball but a slingshot like that also works really well you just put this in the slingshot cup um, and, and you want something on the back of the cup. Uh, most of them have something like that that you're pulling instead of the cup itself because you're just going to crush the darts doing that. But um, there are arm-braced tennis ball slingshots that will let you shoot one of these and it gets about the same performance as the Max Launcher does. It's just a little more finicky and it takes more effort to actually... They're, they're beefy slingshots. They're meant for shooting tennis balls and um, it's, it's a workout shooting them, and it's a little finicky to reload them, but if you're just in love with the idea of shooting 19 darts with the kind of performance that you're about to see when I do some firing demonstrations, um, there is still an option out there to accomplish the same thing, and it, and it works with the Mega Darts too. Let's throw this down the chronograph and um, demonstrate the Nerf Dog Launcher and the other options working as well and, and show you what I got. And I'll shoot some tennis balls as well to get some FPS comparisons between the Nerf Dog Launcher and the Max Launcher. I'll see if I can get a tennis ball through the chronograph using uh, the chuck it stick, but I don't think I don't think that's going to be easy. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can throw some bundles of darts through the chronograph. Now this is going to be the best demonstration possible of the idea that chronographs work just fine shooting multiple darts at once through them. It's just going to read whatever dart hits the gate first versus when it hits the second gate. And it really doesn't care how much else is flying through it at the same time. Shooting shotguns through a chronograph works just fine. Unless you're using a little airsoft chronograph, and then obviously that's not the chronograph's fault. It's just too small. So here's Max Launcher. I think it's about mid-tension. Um, it does have the tension adjuster that you can use to make it shoot harder, but it's already shooting pretty hard, so it's not a big deal. And I'm probably, with the, the way the spread of this thing is, I'm probably going to hit the cups that are set up over there, as well as the target and everything else in front of me. But um, hopefully we'll get a decent chronograph reading. 88. There we go. That's 19 darts shot out at around 88 feet per second which is awesome and somehow i didn't hit the cups it mostly went above the cups
Now, just to show you, the same thing works with a Nerf Dog launcher, but with much lower performance. Let's try it again. There we go. And you saw, that was a pretty decent spread. Um, you're not really going to hit anything beyond 20 feet, 20 or 30 feet, um, but it came out at like 53 FPS, which is pretty good. And just to compare, to get a better um, comparison of the power, and I'm going I'm to shoot this several more times, don't worry, um, but I'm going to shoot a tennis ball out of both of them, just to show you how much stronger the, Nerf, the uh, Max launcher is compared to the Nerf dog launchers. And um, I've I've tried the K9 cannons as well. I don't have one handy, but they're comparable to the Nerf Dog launcher, except they don't really work with this um, bundle of darts thing, because they've got like a ram that is punching the tennis ball and launching it out, and it just kind of explodes the dart bundle directly in front of the K9 cannon and doesn't really work. So we got a tennis ball. It's got some serious thump to it. Um, 68 FPS with a tennis ball is kind of mean. Now the Nerf dog launcher shouldn't be nearly that that strong. And this is a this is a lightly modded Nerf dog launcher. Like I increased the tension of the rubber bands inside, which was a huge pain in the ass and didn't give me hardly any improvement in the the performance of it so i wouldn't recommend it. it it's um any any modding of one of these is going to be difficult i'll just put that out there right now and i you can see these bolts i had to put in um to kind of reinforce something i had broken in the in the process of of modding this one for no discernible benefit and there we go, 49. I'm going to shoot a few more. 49. Duplicate 49. A third duplicate 49. So very consistent 49s out of this thing. And out of the Max Launcher. 62, 66, it's a pretty consistent 60s. So all you got to do is take 19 darts and ball it up so that you have this hexa hexagonal pattern and then tie your ponytail tie around it and then you're good to go. And um, the ponytail ties um, you can buy like a hundred of them for five bucks, which makes them perfect for this. Um, and all you got to do is like tighten them slightly so that they're a little bit looser around the darts and they're good to go. It took me, I mean, I've been messing with, um, Nerf shotgun grenade launcher type stuff for years. And I started out with all kinds of weird foam canisters and felt ribbons wrapped around the darts with like hair ties and a, a bunch of stuff um because it's an interesting it's an interesting challenge making a grenade type canister that you can launch that's actually safe to launch at people and when i eventually when i found the the nerf dog launchers and the max launchers and messing with that I eventually realized that just um letting the force of the launcher do all the work and break the bundle apart, made it so that I can reduce the design to just a simple hair tie. And then you're not shooting any plastic or any weird, like stapled together mess at somebody. You're not shooting a, a, a solo cup or, or what, <laughs> any of the, the strange uh, monstrosities I'd come up with over the years. And it um, makes it so it's actually safe to shoot at people, which is a huge bonus. I mean, that's kind of required if you're going to do something like this. Like you can, you can shoot those airsoft grenade things out of the max launcher, but I would never like shoot that at somebody. That's awful. You're, you're throwing a plastic brick at somebody at, at like 50 FPS. 
And I found that with, with all different types of this concept, loading the projectile in backwards improves your performance. Like all the weight of the, um, all the weight of the dart bundle is in the catapult cup. The fact that it flies up backwards forces the darts to try to reorient themselves and make your spread better. Makes it more likely that the bundle will actually separate and you won't just shoot a wad of darts. It just works way better. The FPS is a little higher just because the force is being thrown into the heads of the darts and not the foam behind them. So it's, it's interesting. So let's do this again. Hit the cups that time, but we got 95. It's pretty high. And you can see I've just got a big old bag of multicolored rainbow mess of hair ties. Because they're incredibly cheap and you can just buy them. I've also tried launching demolisher rockets out of this thing. And it just doesn't end well for the demolisher rocket. It's always very rough on it, and the rocket doesn't fly out straight. It usually just gets a fin clipped and um, or torn in half entirely. Like it's those those things cannot really survive being shot out of this. There's another 88. And you can see the spread's pretty crazy. Like there there are just darts everywhere in front of you, and um, I've got I've hit people from 60 or 70 feet away with this thing. Just like shooting it up into the air, Hail Mary, rain darts on the enemy team type setup. And it's just super satisfying. Let's see if I can get a tennis ball through the chronograph with the chuck it without wrecking my chronograph. Cause this is a chuck it stick. It's, it's just a at ladle for tennis balls really. Put the ball in the cup. And you swing it forward. I haven't done this in a while. Hopefully it's not... Hopefully I don't destroy something. Yeah, that was a bad idea. It's real finicky. Um, and I wouldn't recommend doing it indoors. Let's see if I can launch a dart bundle with it. Just to show you that it works. Just kind of stick the, the heads of the darts in the cup there. Stand behind the camera just a bit. See if I can actually do this. <laughs> the darts actually stayed together. Let's try that again. It hardly ever happens with the Max Launcher, but with the weaker um, method of launching these. Sometimes they just stay in a bundle and get launched. So I'm going to try it with the uh, band wrapped around the back of the darts. See if that's better. <laughs> well that ended up hitting the ceiling and just raining darts immediately in front of me. So that might have worked outside. Probably would have worked outside. Let's try one more time. Attempt number three. Well, that one hit the chronograph and exploded. But um, you get the idea. It will launch these bundles of darts, and it's a little finicky to, to get um, to get them to like separate consistently and aim consistently. But it's definitely possible, and I could see somebody running around with a bag full of these dart bundles and a chuck it stick and just raining darts on the enemy team. It might be pretty fun. Okay, let's do some more firing demonstrations without the chronograph. Okay, now we're at one end of the basement facing the target as usual. I've loaded up like 12 different bundles of darts. I'm gonna show you what kind of spread and range you can get with the Max Launcher and this silly thing. So I had a few hit the target. Several just land on top of the cups and the rest are all over the floor and the workbenches. 
<laughs> Fire number two. We got more hidden target. And this is like 40 feet away from the target right now. You can see it's like, this is a blunderbuss of shoot everything in front of you. Number three. <laughs> I'll do some other testing with it. Um, but now I want to show you seven mega darts. A lot more fun outside because of the whistling nonsense, but you can probably see what I got going on here. <laughs> now imagine that fired into the air outdoors and just whistling all the way up and all the way down. Just as a comparison, got a Nerf dog. Shall do the same thing and see what kind of range this is going to get. <laughs> Sometimes it's not enough to split the bundle apart. And you can see it just kind of launched over there and hit the little cart over there. And to, to fix that kind of issue with um, weaker tennis ball launchers, just got to make sure the, the band is as far forward as possible. Doop. <laughs> so yeah, you see this, this silly spread. It's a little inconsistent. It doesn't go nearly as far as the Max Launcher does, but it does work. And sometimes you get stuff like this where a couple darts are left behind, and that's why that shot wasn't as strong, I think. It looks like it got caught. Yeah, actually the band got caught in between the um, launcher and the foam padding. We'll do one more shot. Alright, I got the end of the hair tie toward the top so it can't get stuck on the side like that. There we go. That's, that's what you can normally expect from this. Like, it just barely made it to the cups and, and hit a few of them. Whereas the max launcher is easily hitting the target from here. So you saw the, uh, the point-blank shot in the last video of max launcher just annihilating the center of the cups. Um, but another cool test, or at least I think it's pretty fun, um, with a cup setup like this is how fast can you clear the table with a Nerf gun? I've, re I've got six bundles ready to go, and I'll see if I can knock all the cups off the table relatively quickly. And I will also um, not edit this section so you can get a feel for the kind of rate of fire that you can get if you've got the bundles all ready to go. Alright, let's do it. This is poor last green cup. <laughs> that was five shots. That was that was pretty good. I got one shot left. I'm just gonna shoot the target point blank. As you can see what kind of spread and force I get from it. There we go. Here's that last cup that I shot. The green one. It didn't hold up too well. <laughs> now something else you can do with a max launcher if you don't feel like just littering darts everywhere. Um, you can shoot stress balls or um, they make these indoor snowballs. Which are these weird like polyfill foamy things that I found on sale at TJ Maxx one day and bought a bunch of them. <laughs> and they're the perfect size to just load into the max launcher and you have yourself a nerf equivalent snowball launcher and that a little high and it, it launches them really well they kind of soar and they actually go in a pretty straight line I wouldn't recommend doing something too light though um, 
you want a pretty like dense stress ball or something because um uh launching something that's too light out of something like this is almost equivalent to dry firing it and it's just not going to last that long if you're dry firing it all the time there's just a lot of force but all that you can also do is just fill the entire thing with snowballs <laughs> get this weird vertical shotgun spread and don't actually do this but as a last resort for somebody who just refuses to hydrate <laughs> okay well that was my video on the max launcher I hope you enjoyed it it's like my favorite blaster I own because it's just so silly and launching 19 darts in this cone of death in front of you is way too fun. I wish they were still sold. Like, you used to be able to just buy this on Amazon for 40 bucks. And now the company is has given up on tennis balls and is now launching um, clay targets for skeet shooting. Which is a shame. But, um, if you ever find one of these at a thrift store or something, grab it, because it's awesome. Little sneak preview of another thing I'm working on. Double mega to caliburn. I've made such a mess. There are darts everywhere. And shredded cups everywhere. And the dart catcher is full of megas from testing the caliburn and of miscellaneous stuff from the Max Launcher. What a mess. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one, and until then, this has been Carius reminding you to have fun. They said it couldn't be done. <laughs> in a week, I'll have a spring thunder.